I'm Linda. And I'm Troy. And we're Wines, Pines, and Canines. Today's video is all about our third and final day of our recent trip to Williamsburg, Virginia. The focus for today is all about Yorktown National Battlefield. Now, if you'd like to catch our other two days, which was Colonial Williamsburg and Jamestown Historical Settlement, uh, we're going to link those at the end of the video, along with giving you a fireside chat of our thoughts on the three days and some tips for the area. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe. And remember, Desi here wants you to hit that notification bell. Hey, good morning. We're fixing to leave Anvil Campground this morning. It's a beautiful Friday, best weather we've seen so far. We're gonna have a great time um, in Yorktown, National Battlefield. Before we get there, we're gonna swing in through downtown Williamsburg, grab some coffee and some breakfast. Okay, made a quick stop at that Blackbird Bakery again. Um, got some coffee for the morning and a biscuit. Yum. Yeah, it does. He's like, I'll take a snack. And a whoops, blueberry muffin. So we are go heading out to Yorktown Battlefield. We tried last night. There's just too much to see in an hour. So we're heading back today. So traveling through the Williamsburg area, we recommend taking the Colonial Parkway. A lot of times the phone GPSs will try to take you through the city of Williamsburg because it is a few minutes uh, shorter. But this road is just such a beautiful um, place to drive. It has the tunnels, the brick overpasses, wooded areas, and then the beautiful water scenery. So if you're in this area, we really recommend taking this road instead. Okay, we are here at Yorktown Battlefield. Um, Troy's gone inside to check on tickets and what all is entailed. Um, so the museum is closed. Yeah, the museum is closed. Really cool though. There is a uh, cannon in the lobby with a big dent in the barrel where another um, English cannonball bounced off of it. It's a piece of uh, fun history. Um, so this is, I thought you actually walked around this place, but this is actually a driving tour, right? Yes, it is. You take your car around this plotted coursework around the battlefield, and you stop at all the locations. There's a bunch of placards and information, so you kind of educate yourself on what all the portions of the battlefield represent. <laughs> So we are at Washington's headquarters. Thank you. 
about two hours, I think, with adding in the um, parts, couple parts we did last night. Mm-hmm. What'd you think of it? Well, it was everything I expected it would be for a nationally significant uh, historical location and battlefield. It had a lot of cannons and a lot of uh, battlements and things like that. But it was a lot more of a broader experience than I expected, you know. Talked about where the individual armies camped, you know, and how they broke everything out and and how the siege of Yorktown really took place. Yeah, and it it was a beautiful drive. I mean, a lot of it was um, open fields. Uh, There were a few structures to see, but... Um, just a beautiful drive through the woods. I can imagine springtime would be really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, again, not a lot of crowds um, right now. There is typically a $10 fee to um, do the drive and to get into the buildings. Right now, uh, there's no museum and some of the other things are shut down, so there is no fee. But definitely worth the two hours uh, to invest to do this. Now we're going to see where we're going to go uh, for the rest of the afternoon. I think think we may be heading up to a winery. afternoon but at least it's warm and beautiful setting it is beautiful We have wrapped up our dinner at the Blue Talon Bistro. We are back here at the um, camper enjoying our last night. Um, it's a Friday night, so busy night here at the campground. Um, so just wanted to kind of give you our thoughts on our three full days yep. here in the Williamsburg area. Um, Troy, what was your favorite part? Well, I think just the architecture. Um, it's kind of nerdy, but the brickwork the English and Flemish bond uh, brickwork. So Colonial Williamsburg. Yes, definitely. Yeah, the old church, the brickwork, the steeple. Yeah, all the work that went into, you know, putting that together in the 1600s. I think my favorite is still that night time at Yorktown um, on the waterfront. It is Mm -hmm. so lit up, especially right now at Christmas with all the lights. (laughs) It is absolutely beautiful. beautiful. I mean, that, that... I really loved it when we were here last time and I didn't do it at night. At night, it's just, it's spectacular. So um, I think those were our favorite, although really enjoyed Jamestown and Yorktown Battlefield Tour today as well. Um, So Troy, what would be um, your tips for the area if they come to visit? Well, this is an urban environment, so I would recommend coming uh, during the work week. If you can, there might be less people at some of these facilities. Other than that, I'd probably recommend whenever you're going between Jamestown, Williamsburg, and Yorktown, taking the Colonial Parkway. It's a little bit slower, perhaps, but it's just altogether a better experience than hopping on the interstate that's got a lot of construction. I think my other tip is make sure you plan enough time. This is our second trip here. We started uh, our first trip of the year was here, Um, and this is going to be one of our last trips of the year. Um, And so we already had an idea of what we were going to go see yep. but we still we had to extend it by one day we just couldn't cram everything into two days so we yep. extended it to three and I think we're still tired well I think it's time I think we've got a couple ideas on what we want to do next time it's a number of restaurants and places to eat I love to eat <laughs> and so. there's a number of places that I saw to my and thought to myself hmm. yeah yeah, uh, um, and I agree. I agree. And so, uh, as far as the food, I mean, we we've eaten at the cheese shop every time we come. Really yep. love that. We really enjoyed the Blue Talon Bistro tonight. And Very of course, I, I think you realize we like that Blackbird Bakery. 
Um, so maybe next time we'll branch out a little bit. So um, there's just a lot to do. There's some state parks and things like that in the area. So highly recommend. Um, so this is the last of our three videos on our trip. And if you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. And remember, Desi always likes you to hit that notification bell.